Oh my god. It wheelies so easily. I, I might unironically like this thing. Oh. Yeah, this is, I, I'm gonna be a problem with this. Hey everybody, I'm Ethan, and today I'm gonna be taking a look at the Jackrabbit electric bike. The Jackrabbit is less of an actual bike and more of a cross between an electric scooter and an e-bike. It has no pedals, a small range, and a surprisingly big price tag of a thousand US dollars. So is this tiny little bike at all practical or is it just a toy? We're gonna find out next on Now Let's Review. All right, so here we are with the Jackrabbit bike and something you might notice right away is that this bike is uh, a little bit small. And by a little bit small, I mean absolutely tiny. No actual pedals, these are just foot pegs uh, because you can't pedal this bike. It is throttle only. And not only is it tiny, it's extremely light. This weighs 24 pounds and I can easily pick it up with one hand. Comically small. This bike is hilarious, but it's also really fun. But we'll, we'll talk about everything. So, has a 300 watt motor in the back wheel here. Has a top speed of 20 miles an hour, which is actually really impressive considering the size of this bike. It has a claimed range of 10 plus miles, so very, very small range, but that is because the battery is just this right here. It goes down. This is a slight, slight uphill, but it levels out just ahead. We'll test the acceleration. Zero to top speed. Go. Yeah, so not, not the most impressive acceleration by any means. Um, but again, this is not like a speed demon bike. Top speed on this is 20 miles an hour and it's, it's reasonable considering the size of this bike. It's not too fast. Uh, it's also not too slow. It's a good middle ground. 20 miles an hour on a standing scooter feels really slow sometimes, but sitting on this thing because it's so tiny, it does feel like a pretty reasonable speed. Okay, so back on the hill. Let's see how this does. From zero, full throttle, and full battery. This doesn't have a speedometer on it, so I can't see how fast or slow I'm going but it is really, really slow up this hill. It's cranking along, I mean, it's just not going very quick at all, but it made it up. I wasn't worried that it wasn't gonna make it up, it just wasn't going up the hill very quickly. As I've already mentioned, this thing is just tiny. The rider positioning is surprisingly not as bad as I thought it would be, considering how small this bike is, but like, I don't know, I'm sitting pretty upright, it's not, too cramped, although again, I'm pretty short. I'm only 5'9", so if you're much taller than me, this is gonna be really, really, really small. The seat height is adjustable, but the handlebar height is not, so you, the only kind of adjustment you have is the seat height. Full-size bike seat, really narrow handlebars right here, so it has this little display here. Power button right here, you got full, medium battery, low battery. That's it, that's the only display you have. Thumb throttle. Got mechanical disc brake on the back wheel. This came from the factory on the right handlebar. But yeah, so just keep that in mind, this will come on this side, but I moved it to this one. Got a bell. All right, so this only has a singular mechanical disc brake on the back wheel, and I am well exceeding the top speed of this thing from just the motor. So I'm gonna go brakes now. Yeah, they, uh, they work. That was only with one finger, by the way, because I'm holding this, the camera with uh, the rest of my hand. So that was just with one finger, and I could squeeze the brakes hard enough to lock up the wheels. Okay, so this here, you might be thinking, handlebars are height adjustable. No, they're not. Open that, you gotta push, there's a little button in there, like a little tab thing, you gotta push this in. Then you can just completely pull the handlebars out, which helps it fold down nice and easily, because the whole point of this bike is that it's so tiny that you can just put it easily in the back of your car. You take the handlebars out, then you can turn the wheel to face in towards itself. And once you take the handlebars off, you can just put them wherever. I have them clamped to the front fork, but it makes it a lot smaller. Again, the foot pegs fold up, so that also reduces some of the space. So I think when this thing is folded down, it is less than seven inches wide. Here's the other thing you gotta remember. When you turn the wheel in, so that it's folded up, it locks itself in place. There's a tab right here, you have to push, and then you can turn the wheel out. 
back to where you want it to face, and then just reinstall the handlebars. So the tiny little battery in here charges in two hours, which is a reasonable charge time. It's actually pretty quick, and it makes sense considering how small the battery is and the small range you get. Maximum rider weight of 240 pounds, surprisingly. So, I mean, this can accommodate a pretty wide variety of people. There's not a lot to this bike, so not really a whole lot to talk about. You have a reflector here and a reflector under the seat. Seat is height adjustable. And so easy to just goof off with. Like, you just lean back a little bit and hit the throttle and you just, the front wheel just stands straight up. It's ridiculous. Something interesting about the way this bike behaves is because the wheelbase is so short, the steering is really twitchy. Like you barely have to give any input and this thing is gonna make a really sharp turn. The build quality overall seems pretty good. I uh, haven't noticed anything rattling, making any kind of discomforting noises. It has no trouble getting the front tire off the ground. Oh my God, this thing is a riot. Again though, the 10 mile range is the limiting factor. Oh, ah, okay, so that's a perfect example of uh, what I was about to talk about, which is the rider comfort. It's not the most comfortable bike I've ever ridden by any means. Uh, there's no suspension. The ride is very stiff, very bumpy if you're going over anything that's even remotely rough terrain. On perfectly smooth pavement, I don't really have any complaints as far as the ride. Oh, that was something interesting. So I was exceeding what the motor could carry me up to for a top speed, and the bike just started like, like jittering. It was like cutting out and cutting back in really fast. So I don't know what that's all about. The overall experience with this bike is really interesting, and it's very fun. Here's one of the best things I can compare the bike to, and it just so happens that it's out here right now. The MG Midget that we converted to electric. It's tiny, it's very impractical, but it's really fun. It's exactly what this thing is, except this I would argue is potentially more practical because you can put this in the back of your car and just use it as a last mile commute. You can basically use this thing like you would use a scooter, except it's bigger and you get to sit down and it's much more hilarious. All right, so who is this bike for? Let's be completely honest. This bike is not for anyone who's looking to commute any long distances. This bike isn't for the avid cyclist who wants to really ride. This bike is for someone who wants to put it in the back of their car and use this as their last mile commute to or from work. This is for someone who wants to just go out for a quick rip around the neighborhood or whatever and have fun. This is a great little like, oh, I'm just gonna zip down the street real quick and back kind of bike. It has a maximum range of 10-ish miles. It's not the best bike for covering a lot of ground. This is really just a fun toy. Like, that's what it is. And yeah, of course you can use this for some kind of practical application. You can do a last mile commute or a short commute on it. It charges really quickly, so you can plug it in if you're going to work with it and then have a full battery on the way back. But let's be honest, this thing is a toy. I mean, look. Look at it. Look at the way I'm sitting on this thing. It's it's ridiculous, but it's awesome. So my overall thoughts on the Jackrabbit are that it's really fun to ride and goof off with, but its practicality is really limited. It doesn't really have much to offer over an electric scooter other than the fact that the riding experience and the bike itself is very unique. You could get an electric scooter for less money than this bike that would fold down more easily, would have a better range, and would just overall be more practical in my opinion. However, you wouldn't get the very unique and fun riding experience that you get with the Jackrabbit. Now, speaking of range, when I tested the Jackrabbit's range, I got 8.9 miles out of it before it would no longer move me at all. The light was still on, but the bike would not go any further. A mile under the claimed range is not great, especially when the range is this low to begin with, but I was going full throttle the whole time and going up and down hills. So I think if you lived in a very flat city, you could probably get more than 10 miles out of it if you rode conservatively. But all in all, I think the Jackrabbit is a really fun little bike, although I do think the price tag of $1,000 is a bit much for what you get. If the bike came with two batteries instead of just the single one, I think we might be looking at a more reasonable price, and it would also increase the practicality to have 20 miles of range instead of just the 10 that you might be able to get out of a single battery. Now, if you're gonna be riding the Jackrabbit or any other electric or non-electric bike, I highly recommend wearing a helmet, especially one from our friends at Lumos. They make these amazing, stylish, and super safe helmets. This is the Lumos Street, has a headlight, 
and a taillight, both of which also function as directionals. This particular model, along with a few of their other models, have MIPS, which is this added safety measure in here. Really safe, functional, and great looking helmet. So if you wanna pick one up for yourself, head on over to lumoshelmet.co and use code now you know Lumos at checkout to get a discount on your order. All right, well, that wraps it up for this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a like. Also, let me know what you think about the Jackrabbit in the comments below. Is it something that you would want and that you would actually ride around, or is it kind of just a gimmick? Also, subscribe if you're interested in reviews of other electric bikes and scooters. We've also got electric skateboards that we do, electric motorcycle stuff coming up soon, and electric car stuff coming up soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those videos when they come out. We'll see you next time. Now let's review.